ED or know someone who does, you know what a toll this disease can take on everyday life. Doctors at UConn Health are performing newer procedures that can give people quality of life back. Mm -hmm. And we sent Melissa Cole there recently to meet two women who went from being housebound to doing the things that they love. Take a look. Sandra Judson of Walcott and Heather Butt of Plainville just met in the lobby of UConn Health, but they have something in common. They both have COPD. You had smoked for a long time? 50 years. Not knowing that it was damaging the inside of my lungs the way it did. Mm -hmm. The doctor told me that, you know, I was slowly getting COPD and, you know, I should think about quitting smoking, but I didn't. So COPD is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Uh, COPD comes in two varieties. There's a bronchitis portion and there's an emphysema portion. If you have more of the bronchitis component, it tends to be shortness of breath, a lot of cough, a lot of secretions. If you have COPD that's the emphysema type, uh, it's essentially your lungs are too large, a lot of destruction has happened, and so you're constantly always breathing at the top of your breath. So if you can imagine taking a big breath in and then not being able to exhale. Dr. Omar Ibrahim is the Director of Interventional Pulmonary here at UConn Health. He says more often than not, COPD is caused by years of smoking. A small percentage of people develop it due to environmental factors or genetics. Does this really affect people's daily life? Absolutely. Um, the vast majority of patients who have severe COPD are really debilitated. They tend to be restricted to the environment around them, such as their house. Uh, they're tethered to oxygen uh, and uh, you know, really can't go out and enjoy life uh, as they typically would with, you know, uh, without having this type of disease. I couldn't take two steps and I was done for the day. I, I couldn't bathe, I couldn't uh, uh, take, go to the, my sink to get a glass of water. Just everything that I encountered as far as not being able to breathe. I, my husband was afraid for me the night before I went to the hospital. He didn't even know if I was going to be alive the next day. Surgery or lung transplants are treatment options, but they are aggressive and only work on a select number of patients. Since 2018, Yukon Health and specifically Dr. Ibrahim have been using these small valves called Zephyr valves to get people breathing better. You insert uh, three to four in each lobe of the lung where it's the most diseased. And then what happens is it lets air out, but not back into the lung. These valves essentially help restore normal breathing patterns. The procedure itself is minimally invasive. It's reversible. So if it doesn't work for the patient, you can go back in and take out the valves. And how is it working for patients? So I have to say the vast majority of patients that come in to get this done have really changed their life. Uh, they're able to do more. Um, they're, some of them are no longer tethered to oxygen. They're able to go out and enjoy life. Both ladies have had this done within this past year and it has truly changed their lives. No more relying on oxygen tanks and back to living. My son, uh, like I said, he was always there with me and helping me. And he, I said, well, you know what? I said, I'm going to go take a walk to the car. I want to go get myself a cup of tea at McDonald's. He said, no, 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 you can't, you can't. I said, yes, I can. I got up, I walked from my bathroom, through my kitchen, living room, down the steps, out to my car. He started crying. He said, oh, my God, my, you can walk. I said, I can breathe. And I was screaming, I can breathe. It's, it's amazing. So for you, it's been just about a year. Yes. And how do you feel? Wonderful. Wonderful. Such a difference. I look back and, and where I was and where I am now, tremendous. I thank God for that I'm here today. And you took a pretty big trip. Yes. My grandson and I, Logan, um, went to, um, from Connecticut to California and back for five weeks. And I drove all the way, both ways. And um, we just, we enjoyed it so much. So is it rewarding for you to see patients who, you know, couldn't leave their house to now travel the country? A hundred percent. You know, uh, we all get into medicine because we want to make patients feel better. We're trying to help them. Uh, and being able to do that and see it's very dramatically. So, you know, within, you know, two to three days, they're walking around the hospital ward feeling like, you know, they, they've gotten this new lease on life. So, yes, it's, it's very rewarding. And, um, you know, I have to say that, you know, it's uh, one, of the, one of the things that I do in medicine that really gives me that instant gratification or feedback. 
Very nice. To schedule an appointment or for more information, you can visit UConnHealth.edu.